All right, this is Vegeta 8259 again, and uh, I figured it was time for another update video because we have gotten a good bit of Gunpla information in the last uh, two or three days. I thought about making this video uh, a couple days ago, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to confirm a lot of the stuff uh, that we've learned, and I'm glad I did because uh, now I finally put all the pieces together and some of these releases actually make sense now. So uh, anyway, just as a quick recap, um, in March next month, we're going to be getting the Master Grade Shinlong Gundam version EW, and we will also be getting Master Grade Wing Gundam version EW. And uh, our high grade for March is going to be the high grade Universal Century Garazulu uh, Guard Unit type. So, that's it for March. Now for the new Gunpla news. Well, kind of new. Uh, let's see. First off, uh, I guess I'll go in chronological order. April, as most of you already know, we're getting a real-grade Strike Gundam. But uh, just today, hobby magazines have come out, and we've actually gotten our first images of the real-grade Strike Gundam. And basically, this is it. All we get are two... Uh, kind of obscure photos of the uh, gray prototype of the strike Gunnam. Actually looks pretty nice. Down here are some of the, uh, you know, there's the weapons right there. Some of the features. Uh, it said it was supposed to have like three secret features. And uh, my Japanese is very bad, so I'm not exactly sure what all of these are supposed to be. But uh, honestly, it doesn't look too much different in terms of uh, design from the real grade Gundam and Zaku. It looks like it's going to use uh, a similar uh, advanced MS joint system. So anyway, real grade strike Gundam in April. A funny thing about April is uh, I haven't heard anything about an April Master Grade. We've got an announcement for a May Master Grade and our, our high grade for April is the uh, high grade Universal Century Jagan Echoist type. But I haven't heard anything about a April Master Grade, so I'm hoping that real grade Strike Gunnam here isn't bumping off the Master Grade for uh, April. But that just might be the case. Anyway, uh, moving on, let's see, to May, we have got an announcement of a Master Grade 00 riser. And again, we actually saw this photograph of it um, a couple of days ago. But just now today, uh, Hobby Magazines came out and confirmed that it is going to be a May release. And if you take a good look at it, it looks to be uh, based on the perfect grade design. Kind of like they did with the Master Grade uh, Astray based the Master Grade off the Perfect Grade's design. I think they're doing uh, pretty much the same thing here. As you can see, it looks very similar to the Perfect Grade. It's got the GN Sword 3, just like the Perfect Grade. Um, although, there is one difference. Uh, they are going to include the GN Condenser Pack thingies that uh, Double Riser had in the movie. So that's going to be a nice little addition. And like I said, it comes out in May, and it's going to retail for 6,500 yen. So uh, at today's going rate, that's going to be at least $70, maybe a little bit more. And uh, also in the modeling magazine, we got some pictures of the gray prototype of Double Riser, showing off several more shots and angles and some of the features and posability of the kit. So this should be a uh, pleasant surprise for those who like the Double O Riser but either don't have the money or don't feel like spending the money for the perfect grade. This should be a nice median for you guys. All right. Uh, think. Oh, also May. Um, let me see if I can look this up. It it was actually already announced several, actually a couple weeks ago. Um, the high grade Universal Century Dryson is coming out in May. That's going to be our May high grade. Here it is. And basically, this is a Dom like mobile suit from Double Zeta Gundam 
that's going to be making an appearance in Episode 3 of Gundam Unicorn. And it's slightly modified from the Double Zeta version, and it's going to have the sleeves on the, on the uh, forearms and just uh, a bit more modified from the original Double Zeta version. So anyway, that's our May high grade. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, the uh, big news that I really kind of wanted to talk about is Master Grade Epion. And this is the one that I kind of hesitated making this video about because, well, I'll explain that in just a second. So, let's see. First off, what we got a couple of days ago were a couple of black silhouette images of Master Grade Epion that look kind of like this. Um, this one is in English. There was another one I saw that was in Japanese. And, like it says, upcoming rumored Master Grade, and obviously this is Epion here. And there is a uh, user who uh, I've talked to, and if you know who I'm talking about, you already know who he is. He works for Bluefin Distribution uh, here in the U.S., who is the distributor of Gundam model kits and other Bandai products here in North America. And pretty much he knows about all Bandai releases before they're officially announced. So he knows everything that's coming out before we know it's coming out. And uh, based on his information, Master Grade Epion was not supposed to have been announced this early. He claims that this was an information leak. So, uh, really it's hard to tell when this kit's going to come out. Um, the fact that he claimed that it was an information leak and this wasn't supposed to be uh, announced so early it was pretty much proof that uh, it was real. And then, just today, we've got some magazine scans from Gundam Ace Magazine. And this is what Master Grade Epion is going to look like. So let me get a bigger picture. And as you can see, it does look a little bit different than it did in the TV series. And uh, the user I was talking about told me, uh, actually gave me a pretty good hint that made this all make sense. Um, he said that all of the Gundam Wing kits that are going to be Master Grades this year are going to be based on this endless, not endless waltz, this Gundam Wing manga that's running in Japan right now that uh, is uses the endless waltz versions of all the designs. And uh, as you can see here, we got Death Scythe uh, EW or Death Scythe Verka, whatever you want to call him. So all of the Gundam Wing kits are uh, they're going to get master grades in the in the uh, near future anyway are going to be based on these uh, Endless Waltz designs. Meaning that uh, this is basically the Endless Waltz version of Epion. Even though Epion wasn't in Endless Waltz, um, it seems he's been redesigned or retconned to... Uh, this is what he looks like in the redesigned Endless Waltz version of the uh, manga. And I haven't confirmed it anywhere yet, but I think this is actually a Kotoki redesign. I haven't seen his name mentioned anywhere, but um, it does have the long legs and the short arms and the small head. And it is very angular, and the line work is very sharp and crisp, uh, much like Kotoki's line art. So I think this is a Kotoki redesign, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And even down here at the bottom of the scan is kind of a close-up, so you can see we got the Master Grade logo. At first, I wasn't sure the scan was real, just because the Epion design was so different. Um, I was expecting an Epion TV version, and at first I thought this was just photoshopped on. I wasn't convinced it was real, but uh, after that hint that uh, it's going to be based on the Endless Waltz uh, manga, and... Uh, getting a, more of a close-up on this and see it's real. And even the uh, Japanese here says Gundam Epion Endless Waltz version. So it looks like this is going to be a Master Grade Epion version EW. That's pretty much what it's going to be. Like I said, even though Epion wasn't in Endless Waltz, 
it's going to be his redesign. So, uh, I guess that about does it. Um, there's really no release date or price tag for this guy. Because, uh, like I said earlier, Epion was announced earlier than was originally intended. So, there's no telling when he's supposed to come out. Um, I'm saying June at the absolute earliest. It may even be, you know, July or maybe even August. Who knows? And price tag, well, I mean, that'll be easier to guess than the release date. But, uh, really, I'm waiting for just more solid concrete evidence from Bandai on this kit before I'm going to make any, uh, more assumptions about it. And, uh... As far as my buying decision, I'm going to hold off making that decision until I actually see some pictures of the model kit itself, which will probably come along in the next few months or so. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those love it or hate it kits. Um, people that are don't mind seeing new stuff are probably going to love it, and people that wanted a TV version of Epion are probably going to hate this. Um, I actually kind of like the design. I don't really mind it. I think it looks pretty nice, and... Uh, I'm willing to give it a shot. So anyway, I guess that about does it for um, Gunpla News for today, anyway. Um, big news, Double O, Riser, Master Grade, and Master Grade Epion. Um, if I get any information on a possible Master Grade for April, I'll definitely make a new video on that. But as of right now, I haven't heard anything about it. So I guess that about does it for now, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and one more thing. Let's see. Master Grade Death Scythe Hell EW, Shenlong EW, Wing Gundam EW, Epion EW, possibly Sandrock and Heavy Arms EW. This year is going to suck for people that hate Gundam Wing.